bringing you your December tarot scopes. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope November treated you well. Hope you've seen those 2018 videos that I have already posted up there for you. If you're interested in one of those, please hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. So let's talk about December. What's going on? Today is December 1st. Um, Super excited about what it has to bring for us. On the third, we have the full moon in Gemini. There's also a video talking about that too. You should check it out. Um, interesting energy that we have going on. Then we have a new moon entering into Sagittarius on the December 18th. On the 19th, Saturn will be moving into Capricorn. As well, on the 21st, the sun moves into Capricorn. On the 22nd, um, Mercury finally goes direct, and I'm sure we will all be glad. Communication will improve, travel will improve just in time for the holidays. And on the 25th, Venus is going to enter into Capricorn. So with all of this energy that's out there, I think that it's going to be really important for us to slow down a little bit, look at the things that we've accomplished this year, give ourselves a good pat on the back, and kind of start thinking about what we need to start doing for this new year coming up instead of waiting till New Year's Eve. Let's start planning now. Let's look at what's going on now and how to harness this energy. So with that being said, there's also some changes that will be coming to my channel. There will be some difference in prices, so be sure to click on the description box to see what's going on with that. My prices will continue at the same rate for the rest of December and they will change in January. So let's see what the cards have for us today. Um, and this will be for a whole, just kind of um, looking at a general energy that we have. Let me turn them this way so I won't look. <laughs> Exploration. This is going to be a month of really looking at the path in front of us, seeing what's ahead of us, where we're going, what we're doing, and how we can do things differently. You see the compass at the top of the card? You have to use your moral compass. Capricorn is in full effect. You know he's the big daddy of the planetary system. So you got to get yourself together, baby. Get it together. Find your path. Choose what works for you. Have lots of lots of unconditional love for yourself and for others. And with all of that, big, big hugs, fam. Be blessed. Have a safe holiday. And if you're interested in a read, hit me up. I am looking forward to connecting with you guys. Be blessed. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and subscribes, and this big, huge spike that we're having. So with that being said, happy holidays, and thank you. Hello Libra, it's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your December tarot scope on the night of the full moon. Happy full moon, guys. Hope you guys are doing super, super, super good. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs, big baby. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully you'll stick around, you'll hit that like, that share, and maybe even subscribe. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for all your love, all your support, and most of all, the huge growth that we've had on this channel. So let me go ahead and jump into the power animal for the month, and that is the sea turtle. And the sea turtle is all about ancient knowledge. It's also about going with the flow, baby. And also protecting your energy. If you think about the turtle shell, you go within it when you need to be protected. There's going to be times this month that you just kind of need to detach from everybody. Go do your own things. Ride the waves, man. Totally enjoy yourself. Just because it's going to be one of those emotional months, I think. But what I found really interesting is that the sea turtle in my uh, in the Babylonian tarot that I use is also attributed to the um, magician, Ea, which is actually coming up next to you. This ain't Ea, but it's the wizard in the other deck. So it's kind of a good way to get that idea of harnessing that ancient knowledge that you have, that sixth sense that you have on how to do things in order to manifest what it is you really want. Another thing about the sea turtle, it's about serendipity. It's about perfect timing, everything happening when it's supposed to happen. And that's what's flowing for you right now. So happy sea turtle and up, baby. And now over here for your mentality, what's going on in your mind, what's controlling you is the grouse. Okay. This is the prairie chicken. I like to refer to it as the prairie chicken because it's much, much easier to say that. And it's about the dance of death to rebirth. Okay. 
Movements need to match your goal. What are you doing to get to where you want to go, okay? And this is about being very, very grounded because they don't fly. There's a lot attributed to this animal with drumming, so you might be real into hearing certain beats of music, so that can keep you going um, the way that it's supposed to be, okay? That drumming music is a great way to release, to dance. This is about rhythm, your personal power, vision, creativity, and healing, okay? Now, physically, we are using the Sacred Power Deck, and you have the magician um, manifesting it up. The number attributed to this card is the number 10. Um, it's the number 19, but if you add the 9 and the 1, you get a 10, which you get a beginning. You are number 1, baby. Release control and evaluate your priorities. So the wizard is symbolic of magic and manifestation. And um, the wise wizard is loving, spontaneous, and transparent. So those are some things you need to add to your repertoire this month, okay? Now... The wizard does this by harnessing the power that is all around him. So it's like use all your tools in your toolbox, my friend. Right now you have the power to manifest your dreams into reality. So allow that energy to flow. Manifest the power of the energetic thought and investigate the alchemic process, okay? This is going to help you understand the natural systems, elements, nature, medicine, astrology, synchronicities and that's exactly what serendipity is about okay it's like things happening out of nowhere wow you can create and manifest anything at this time and i kind of feel like what you're going to be manifesting is a situation that's been gone for a while that's been dead that's been passed by things that aren't just really looking on the up and up just because we have right next to it regeneration i'm trying to turn on my my clock i don't want to go over 20 minutes okay now, I do apologize. I have been doing readings all day long today. My throat is just about done between YouTube videos, calls, and um, personal videos. Struggling, guys. I'm struggling with my voice, and it's already up 11-11 right now. So, regeneration is coming in for your spiritual walk, okay, or for your soul. And it's coming in to let you know rebirth, second chances, and new opportunities. I kind of feel like whatever happened in the past, this is going to be your next opportunity to start over, rewrite your story, start from the beginning where you're more in control. Now, in relationships, the world is based on connections, right? No matter what loss has happened in the past, you have a new way of doing it. This is regenerative life force energy, okay? Can you feel it? Love is rising to greet you. In prosperity, what happens when it appears you failed at something is about learning the beauty and the lesson, about understanding that maybe it didn't process that way because something better is coming, new opportunities, uh, better opportunities. So don't dwell so much on the past because you really are experiencing a rebirth. And I really find it interesting that you have this beautiful, beautiful sea turtle swimming next to you through this emotional water. And you have the magician or the wizard with his arms extended, giving you all the light you need. And it actually looks like the light from his um, wand is giving you the light to regenerate. So your thoughts will manifest and bring to light the things that you thought were completely gone. All right. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into your read. We will be using the Babylonian Tarot by Sandra Tabitha Cicero. And I have pre-shuffled the deck, but we will do it together. Sings to till bless these cards for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of December. Give us clear and concise messages and whatever else you feel is needed. Nope, oh, where's my die? And let's see, we're ready. We rolled a four. I'm cutting the deck right now. And what we have is the King of Wands with Scorpio-like energy in reverse. So there is a situation that you are very passionate about or dealing with a fire sign. This situation feels like it's dead and it's going nowhere. Or you're dealing with a Scorpio who feels stagnant. The thing is, it's all about your thought processes and how you're working through that. The sea turtle is all about protecting its home, right? He carries his home on the back. So I feel like you need to protect your home and protect your energy. You need to move forward and not worry so much about what's wanting to stay behind. All right. Couple of shuffles in. And I'm so sorry, my throat is really hurting me. I need to drink something. I've been talking all day. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move this out the way, put them to the side. First position, oh, there's that story, Genesis. 
the New Beginning, the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Cups. Oh my, your energy is on point with the Three of Cups reversed. All righty then, we got some stuff going on, Libra. We got some stuff going on. So in the past, you were given this new opportunity to rewrite your story, to start from the beginning, to kind of overlook everything. And I feel like this is very... Um, what is like that word? It's like a omnip, om, omnip, I can't even think of the word. It's so cool. I'm going to say like, it's so cool that you get to rewrite your story before the year starts. So I kind of feel like you're kind of looking at things right now and you're like, okay, I didn't like the way that happened. I didn't like the way this happened, but you know what? I'm going to try to do it this way. And that's how you have that ace of wands right now. And some of y'all are actually adding to the family because of the man and the baby. And then we have that fertile sign right there leading into the queen. Now, with that being said, this Ace of Wands is a lot of energy bursting in. You have two Aces in your reach, so I feel like you are getting like a whole bunch of new beginnings right now before the end of the year, you know, as we're going into 2018. And I feel like this is actually you being very decisive, very like, this is my life and I'm going to do what I need to do. However, the hidden influence is this Queen of Pentacles. So either this is you as a business person, this is you holding it down as a mother, whatever it is, or a father, because remember this is General Reed, or this is you dealing with an earth sign, and they're actually assisting in the situation. This is Virgo, uh, Capricorn, or Taurus. Let's see who wants to clarify this, this deck. Okay, this deck has just been on fire, guys. There. Oh, okay. Any more? Any more you got up in here? Let me check it with the pendulum real quick. Is this the card for Libra? No, is this the card for Libra? Should it be upright? Okay, so you're getting loyal hearts upright. So I kind of feel like this is one of those months that you're going to really start deciding, <coughs> so sorry, who is for you and who is not. You're kind of weighing your options, okay? Now, and if you see in this card, it's attributed to the number 35, which is all about communication. You really need to communicate your loyalty, your love, your compassion, what you're feeling to the other person, okay? Because you wanna make sure they're on the same page. It looks like they are though, okay? Fidelity, loyalty, devotion. In relationship, your partnerships, friendships, and romantic relationships all have something in common right now. What? It's honesty, devotion, and faithfulness. Now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in the divine protection. These two aces for me, when they show up, when I get two aces in a love read, I'm like, boo, this is like marriage material. Like, this is getting there. So you may have met somebody like a soulmate or somebody you have a soul contract with that's like willing to make things happen for you. Now, in prosperity, all your long-term loyalty to your goals is becoming evident. Things are falling into place. If you're loyal to your dreams and faithful to your plans, but remain flexible, everything is going to turn out when it's supposed to. And that's that serendipity. It also says your manifestation is happening, okay? Your manifestation is happening. And I feel like you are legit the magician, okay? Or the wizard, like they say. Now, the hidden influence is that we have all these seven of cups. We have all these cups here, right? I'm going to pull it a little bit closer. So we have a lot going on. And it's almost like we need to harness. You see those two owls? They're looking at each other. These two owls are looking at you. So this is like introspective. And this is looking on the outside. So yes, it's very important that you have that loyal tie. But it's also about protecting what's important to you. So it's going to be very important that you make a decision about something. Because the Seven of Cups is like a lot of temptation. A lot of things getting in the way. And I want to go ahead and clarify that Seven of Cups. Okay, good. I wanted to come from this deck. Huh. Get out of your head, my friend. It's not a nightmare. The nightmare is having to decide. But I see legit you have seven cups. But the final thing is you will make that decision. You're going to meet that person that just like really sparks it for you, 
fire sign or water is what I'm picking up. And I feel like you might have been dealing with like a third party. That third party is going to be a done data. You are going to make your decision. You're going to offer your cup of love to somebody because you are sick and tired of being the third wheel, sick and tired of being left out, or sick and tired of dealing with somebody who is taking your energy. This is also like be very careful not to overindulge. The three of cups um, reverse for me next to the seven of cups leading to one cup i'm going to tell you it's probably going to be better for you not to over drink be very very careful if you're traveling and you're drinking i know a lot of people do it all the time however this is overindulgence with lots of temptation okay like they say the seven deadly sins so be very very careful don't get so much in your head that you start um self-sabotaging just make your choice and you know who they're supposed to be i would say somebody who um I just said, whoo, whoo, in my head. <laughs> Somebody who brings out that side of you, that loyalty, that joy, that, that feeling of being comforted. Because this is really, really happy-go-lucky energy that you got going on once you make your decision, Libra. I don't think that you want to um, make that decision. You might be getting pressured to make that decision, especially by a fire sign. But... The way that you end up making it, you make the best decision that you can make, all right? Because you get that Ace of Cups. And I think it's possibly with somebody from your past who you might have thought that it was over with because it's that regeneration energy and it's like, whew, I can't believe this came out of freaking nowhere, okay? Now, that is your read. You do have an extra message coming in from the Isis Oracle deck, which I... I go around and I ask the cards which ones want to be used as far as the decks. And this one, I didn't really know where to put it. But I'm going to tell you, you have the Ace of Wands. You have the Ace of Cups. And then you have Pillar of Light coming in for you. And I feel like it's legit like these aces are coming in. Like these big things, monumental experiences are coming in. And this is... Um, saying that you are strong that you are strong and you're being guided to strengthen your energy field allow more of the divine light to flow through you safely as its expression so i kind of feel like the magician was shining its light but it's like you don't even need um an extension of, of yourself no no wand or anything you are the light you are the choice you are the energy that's attracting everything and this is about strengthening your chakras too and connecting to the earth so be very grounded this month make sure that you are grounding yourself okay now, it's recommended that you attempt to practice no more than once per day for several minutes at a time, building up your energy. So if there are a few Libras out there who are trying to get into astrology, trying to get into card reading, trying to get into the metaphysical meditations, things like that, try to practice this on a daily, whether it be for five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, whatever you have, because right now your energy field is very strong. Remember, you have ancient knowledge with the turtle and you had that wizard power with manifestation. So that's just an extra message for a few Libras out there that are dippling and dabbling in that kind of stuff. Now, Saturn is coming home to Capricorn on the 22nd, and the card that is representing your karmic energy with the Saturn return is Buro Bur. I'm probably saying it all wrong. It's all about authenticity, right? So in the lower world, if you see at the bottom of the card, you see that wheel and then you see these two um, sensual dancers, Indonesian dancers. In Buddhism, sensuality is seen as a distraction from the spiritual quest. Does your frustrated longing for another person, whether that is someone who does not return your feelings or who is not willing to commit to you fully, um, causing you to not feel like complete in your life, okay? So, unfocused desire to be in a rela relationship. Make the rest of life seem meaningless. The Dharma Chakra Wheel of Dharma, that's a power symbol, reminds you of the teaching of Buddha that enlightenment lies beyond desire, hatred, and delusion. Think now about the things you long for. Do your desires help you on your spiritual path or merely make you unhappy? So what's blocking you from becoming this pillar of light? What's blocking you from enjoying these two fresh new beginnings? Actually, three new beginnings that you've had recently because you have Genesis, you have the Ace of Cups, and you have the Ace of Wands. What's stopping you from feeling so good about what you've got going on? 
Do you really know that the person you yearn, do you really know the person you yearn for, or are you simply responding to the physical appearance? Remember that beauty is fleeting. Are you angry because you don't have that big home or expensive car? Do you really want these things, or just feel the need to keep up with others? Does what you want serve your highest purpose? Be honest with yourself here and seek insight through meditation. Meditation is going to be very important because you're going to harness that energy from the magician, Libra. You are like on fire this month, but you have to learn how to harness that energy. Pillar of light is telling you you're full of light, full of energy, and full of joy. So harness it. It's going to be really important that you use this time to set you up for 2018 because that's when there's going to be an energy shift now saturn is going into capricorn so be very aware of where that falls where saturn falls in your chart or what what you have going on there all those kinds of things um play a big part on how you're going to be dealing with this Paying attention to what you have your focus on because that three of cups reverse is like overindulgence. So don't overindulge in drinking food or, or negative thinking patterns. Try to stay on point. Try to stay, as they say, in the light, enjoying the good things that were being bestowed upon you, okay? And that's how you're going to find your joy this month, okay? And that's how you're going to revive a situation that you once thought was dead, all right? And your sacred stone is apophyllite. And this is um, for release, attunement, and astral travel. Apophyllite, however, is a complex and confronting stone as it promotes truth, including the ability to see oneself and one's situation clearly. In facilitating past life connections, it can bring about the release of long-held and suppressed emotions. For your body, phys oh, it promotes acceptance of incarnation also. For your physical self, it's great for re Reiki healing, facilitating states of deep relaxation and tranquility to enhance healing. It also helps to alleviate asthma, allergies, and problems with the eyes, okay? Drawing this card indicates it's time to let go of whatever is holding you back or down. Consider your life carefully. What can you let go in order to move forwards and upwards towards your potential? That's that seven of cups energy. There's a lot of things being offered to you right now or a lot of things getting in the way of what you truly want. I find it very interesting that that seven of cups is that pillar of light right in front of it and then you choose your cup. So I think that in a meditation or during your time by yourself as a sea turtle dipping into that ancient knowledge, you're going to find out which one is the one you should be choosing and that's going to give you that brand new hit at love. I would say Libra, out of everybody I've read for over the last few days, you are more than likely going to meet somebody this month who is going to truly impact your love life, whether they're a friend or whether it's a lover because of those two aces and the loyal hearts. This is somebody you have a soul contract with. And when you meet them, you are just going to know that whole energy of three of cups, seven of cups, not knowing, not being very decisive. It's going to be thrown out that window. All right. So that is your read, Libra. Big, big hugs. Lots and lots of love. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. Remember, if you're interested in a read, hit me up at Ariana Luciano at gmail.com or on the gram at Ariana Luciano. Be blessed, fam.